for the Crow Park stage, which takes place on the 4th of March, which isn't that awful long away now. And if that's not enough, they're packing at the moment, getting ready for their school tour to Paris, and that departs tomorrow night. So what a life, I tell you. So we'll start off, first of all, uh, good evening, guys, to both of you. Thanks for joining us on the programme. Hi, good Michael. Hi. Good to have you with us. Now, I suppose the, the first question is, what inspired you to enter the competition? Well, thank you, Michael, for having us on the show tonight. It's a great honour for us to be given the opportunity to talk on the Family Matters programme. One is that we grew up listening to. Well, my sister entered the competition when she was in transition year, and their group actually got a fair co backstage of the competition as well. So I obviously have heard a lot about it from her, and I was very interested. And I also have a farm at home, and I love farming. Well done, and Kevin, thank you for the compliments. I tell you, flattery will get you everywhere, you know that. But anyway, now, moving on. Saoirse, what does the competition itself involve? Well, uh, first of all, Michael, we make a three-minute video introducing ourselves, the school, and a couple of teammates bonds of the competition, which are ADP, Keepback, and uh, Irish Angle Producer Group. And we also have to include what our plans would be if we were looking up to get to the Crocac State competition. Sorry, Kevin, go ahead. I was interrupting you there. Go ahead, Jeff. And yeah, and when we were making the video, this was also the time we were doing our three white school musicals. So a very hectic time. So we got through it in the end. Then a few weeks later, we got word that we got through to the interview stage of the competition. We then went to the interview at the Mullingar Park Hotel on the 14th of January, where there were four judges on the interview panel. These included representatives from ABP, PPAC, the Irish Hanks Producers Group. So it was all to ask to a science teacher on the interview panel too. They told us we were very confident and had good sharp answers. And then we got an email that we got through to find the co-pack. We were so happy and excited. So we're now flat out preparing for that. I suppose once he, he heard that, uh, that uh, he had got the Crow Park stage, was there fierce excitement? Oh, stuff. It was brilliant. Like, we found out a few weeks ago, actually. We were told to go to the science lab. And I, think was, I knew I knew something was going on. But we had PY Assembly at the time, and we were someone from what's got the lad, and the diseases that was Kelly for head of the competition and kept us guessing. They explained how that's a very competitive competition, and they were very best to get through to prepare. I tell you something, Mr. Stevens couldn't have guided us anymore we tried. We were sure we were getting bad news, like, and then they announced we got through to prepare today. I was delighted, like, we couldn't believe it. I'd say TY Assembly went sort of haywire that afternoon, did it? <laughs> <laughs> now you're both in school together, but I'm told that you know each other for quite a while before that. Yes, Michael, we've known each other since play school, and we've always had a good friendship. We also went to the same national school, Goyerfield National School. And yeah, sure, I've known Kevin for a good while now, we only live two minutes up the road from each other. You sort of say that, Saoirse, so like, oh, yeah, sure, I've known him for a good while. You, you could be a small little bit more excited about it. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> let's move on quickly from that. So, on the 4th of March in Crow Park, what exactly is going to happen? Well, on the 4th of March, Michael, we have to set up a stall in Crow Park with the promotion ideas and our plans for the cast if we are fortunate enough to win them. At this stall, we will showcase all the hard work we've been doing in preparation for our jigsaw challenge to hate your seat and master chef and so on. And there'll be, what's it called, there'll be five judges going around judging our stall and each group will get like a maximum of five judges on the day. And judges, they'll be from like Chagas, Corbia, Irish and Cast Society and numerous judges and many more. So hopefully we'll impress them with our stall on the day. And I'm sure that the uh, community school itself will be full support behind you. Yes, Michael, we are beyond fortunate with the health, support and encouragement that we receive from all members of the school community, from our principal, vice principal, and all of the fantastic teachers and staff. And on that note, Michael, I would like to say a massive thank you to everyone in our school. They've been so supportive. And I'm not going to mention names, I'm going to forget people, but two people I have to mention is Mr. Stevens and Ms. Kelly, as they've been a mighty help to us, and we just couldn't be here a day without them. Well, I know that I've been talking the last couple of weeks to James, and I can call him James, by the way, ye can, but I can. And uh, he's almost exci as excited as, as all of ye are, which is great to see. And uh, I know that he's a great teacher and held in high regards, as indeed is Miss Kelly. Now, what would your plans be for the Cavs if you're successful to win them? Uh, we plan to win them on my family farm. And if we were lucky enough to win the Cavs, we're thinking about bringing them to a few like culture shows and there's a little area, small stars and breed around the area. Lovely. Now, tell us a little bit about this famous mascot, Black Betty. Oh, thank you, Michael. Black Betty is a well-known 
Tuesday. She and her two cats are making themselves well at home in the school and straight around the school and the local town of Bobelli, promoting a breed experiment by giving them some massive batches of rare and certified iron and telling them that certified iron is like a good way to go. She also is being disturbed on social media pages. Please follow our progress on social media by searching HRC CIAB on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. That's HRC CIAB. You never know a black bitch you might end up in Paris with often. Follow our social media accounts. Watch this space. <laughs> she might indeed, Kevin. For a minute there, when you said she, she's also been the star of our social media, I thought she, we were also going to say she's also been the star of our school musical. But anyway, <laughs> you came back from that fairly well. Now, you, I, the 4th of March, of course, you're in action. We wish you the very best. But you're all excited about something else tomorrow as well, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. we're heading off to Paris tomorrow night, so everyone is so moved up there. It's a great crack. How many is going? Uh, 79. 79, yeah. <laughs> Wow. Should somebody ring Paris and tell them you're on your way? <laughs> Would it be safe? But look at you're, you're, you're two great people, thanks to both Sircha and to Kevin. And uh, we'll keep we'll keep in contact with yourselves and with the school and with James. And uh, the best of luck on the 4th of March at Crow Park. And I'm sure that we'll have great news for you. And uh, as you enjoy Paris, try not to fall in love with the French beef guys now. Thanks, <laughs> And a warning as well to the wise, try not to fall in love with any of the French people either. It could be safe or not. <laughs> Sir Shane, Kevin, thank you very much indeed to yourself, indeed uh, to James and to Miss Kelly uh, for all their hard work getting you this way, this far. And of course, we wish you the very best of luck and uh, it'll be an exciting couple of weeks ahead. Enjoy Paris, guys, and we'll talk to you all when you come back. Thanks, William really, Michael. Thanks, Michael. Yeah, great ambar ambassadors for the school, the Holy Rosary College there. We wish them very well. And indeed, we've had a, a lot over the last number of years, we've had a good few colleges right across the region. Uh, last, last year, in fact, we've only had day one. We won a couple of years, actually, and got to the Crow Park section. And uh, well done to the Holy Rosary College. As I said, we're talking to Sir Shen Kevin there with lots of people involved, including Mr. Stevens and Miss Kelly and uh, the whole school in general, all backing them up. So we wish them well on that. And don't forget, you can check them out on Facebook at HRC. CCIAB, TikTok, HRCCIAB, and indeed Instagram, uh, the same. Uh, check them out. Keep in contact with them, keep their progress mapped, and hopefully uh, we'll be talking to them after the 4th of March, and they'll have some good news for them. And to all at Holy Rosary College, all of the students who are off to Paris tomorrow, enjoy. You deserve your break, and hopefully all goes well for you. And we wish you well in the Angus competition, as well as I said, ones promoting the Angus breed over the last number of years and generating a great deal of interest in the secondary schools right across the region, which is good to say. We're always talking about the fact that uh, the farmers are getting older and older, and it's lovely to see young people involved and genuinely interested in uh, enjoying the fun and having a bit of crack over it as well. So thanks to Saoirse and Kevin uh, for taking our call there. Okay, just before we go to our break,